The first Captain Marvel movie is mid. I didn't really have any hype for the Marvels, but did the trailer change that? Let's talk. What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John, and the Marvel's trailer has debuted, and like, it it, it was aight, it was alright. People online already overhyping the trailer, it was fine, it was okay. And it's a teaser trailer, so for all teaser trailers, I give them a pass if they don't blow me away, because it's just a, a tease of what's to come. That being said, this trailer did not hype me up, it doesn't excite me. If anything, it got me a little more interested, there is some potential here. But yeah, I wasn't excited before and I'm not excited now. It was a pretty average trailer, but I do love the Beastie Boys, so they do get a thumbs up for using that song. Now, I will say that the concept itself is pretty interesting, and if executed well, that's a definite plus. Every time powers are utilized, the members switch places. And my favorite part of the trailer was this scene right here. I mean, that was a smooth, slick transition. Like, more of that? Yeah, I could go for that. Also, Amon Vellani is always fun to have around. Safe to say if she's in any MCU project, she will make it better. The suit, by the way, Captain Marvel's new suit, big ass emblem. It looks really good. Photons is all right. Miss Marvel, the original suit was so much better than this. I, I don't know why they made the change. <clears throat> Toy sales. It, it doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't look good. I'm sorry. Serious downgrade. But what I find very interesting about this trailer is that it's not Captain Marvel 2. I mean, look at this shot. Captain Marvel should be in the middle, the standout, but it's Photon, it's Monica. This very well might be Monica's movie. I mean, the trailer opens with her and not Captain Marvel. I mean, man, if Jeff Snyder was telling the truth, I get it, Brie. I, they hijacked your franchise. <laughs> it's not the Captain Marvel franchise anymore. I mean, let's be real. The first Captain Marvel movie only made a billion dollars because it tied into Endgame and Marvel was marketing it as you had to see this movie to understand Endgame. Complete lie. Marvel knew that trick wasn't going to work this time around. This film certainly isn't hitting a billion dollars. I don't think it's going to get anywhere near a billy. So Marvel knew they couldn't do another solo Captain Marvel outing because people just don't like this character. She is not the new face of the MCU. She is no Iron Man. She's not carrying this franchise. And Marvel had to throw in two fan favorites so people can watch this movie and like this movie even more. Nothing Captain Marvel does in this trailer is a highlight or a standout. She is literally in the background. I think Monica is going to be a much better lead. I'm open to Captain Marvel being written better, but just the performance and the previous entries are, are there. They can't be erased. The first impression has been made and it's not a good one. So the course correcting and direction of the franchise in this one, it does make sense. So the movie could be good. You know, I'm going to watch it because I'm a fan of these movies. Trailer didn't impress. It didn't hype me up, but there's, there's, there's some potential here. The trailer was already better than the entirety of the first Captain Marvel. So we'll see. It looks like it could be a fun time. Tell me your thoughts on the Marvel's trailer in the comments down below. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That'll be all for me. Remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.